There we go. There we go. Fish on. Just a little guy. Oh my goodness. So it's October now, and that really only means one thing, at least to me. That means the brown trout start to spawn. And when the brown trout start to spawn, you hold off everything to come to this here river and catch some of them. There he goes. It is a chilly, rainy October day. It's actually supposed to snow in the next few days, but they've dropped the water off at this river right here. All throughout the summer, this, this river is like completely flooded out. It's muddy and it's unfishable, like absolutely unfishable. But this time of year, they drop the water, it starts to clear up a little bit and the fishing turns on, let me tell you. I actually was not planning on doing this today. I was planning on going up in the mountains to a lake and actually doing a camping video, try to catch some tiger trout, but it's raining down here in the valley, which means it is snowing up in the mountains. So I had to bag that idea, at least for, at least for now, and uh, come to this river. I'm kind of thinking since the brown trout are coming up to spawn, they're gonna be in shallower water instead of deep pools like that. So maybe maybe some of these sh more shallow runs like this are gonna have more fish. I don't know, honestly. I'm just I'm just kind of guessing. There we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh my goodness. Well, it's a fish. Technically. Golly, this guy's too small to keep. I did forget to mention, we are looking to do a little catch and cook today. Um, but this guy, just a little, little too small. Not exactly what we're after. That's a pretty fish. Really pretty fish. Oh man, it is tempting to keep this fish right here. Look how beautiful that fish is. Look at those spots. Holy cow. That almost looks like a straight up tiger trout. You can really see where tiger trout get their markings by this fish right here. Uh, I'm gonna get him off the hook and it's, it's really tempting to keep this guy. But that is just too beautiful. Oh, you're good, bud. I know you'd probably taste really good, but we're gonna we're gonna give you a break today. Now, to be honest, that fish did not fight really at all. Like, I caught him in probably nine, ten inches of water, and he didn't really put up much of a fight. I mean, usually when they spawn, they get a lot more aggressive and they would fight harder. But I don't know what was up with that dude. Hmm. Probably vegan or something. Well, first snag of the day. Feels like a good one too. Oh, I got it. Yes! You know, sometimes even if the fishing isn't great, if you don't lose any lures, I still pretty much count that as a win. Huh. I wonder if you can eat these bad boys. Ow! Ooh. If anyone knows if there are any cactuses you can eat in Utah, let me know. I think that'd be cool to try sometime. Not today though. Man, it's not really raining hard, but it's just one of those days where there's a constant, it's, it's a soaking rain. It never really rains hard, but everything is still just soaking wet. 
This grass is so long, I don't know where the bank ends and the water begins. Whew. There we go, there's a good fish. There's a really good fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. Right there in this current, yes. That's a really, really good fish. Holy, like, holy crap. Wow, that's a giant fish right there. That is a giant freaking brown. Oh my, look at that thing. Look at that thing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, bud. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. He doesn't even fit in the net. He literally does not fit in the net. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Sure to you guys. Look at that. Look at this fish. Whew. Man. <laughs> I, oh my gosh. What a great fish. I always say this and it always frustrates me that GoPros can never get perspectives on how big fish are. But this guy realistically is probably about three and a half pounds. Or I, I don't really know. I mean, he is freaking heavy. He is fat. We're gonna let her get her bearings back and we'll let her go. There she goes, man. There she freaking goes. That was gonna be my last cast at this spot too. She hit it right where the current meets the still water. She's probably just posted up there waiting for little minnows to swim by. Whoa, Ooh. okay, yeah, that thing I said about the grass is so tall, I don't know where the water begins, it begins right there. Well guys, the rain is starting to come down a little bit harder now, um, and I don't want to break my camera, so we're going to go and sit in the truck until hopefully it calms down. All right guys, so it's about an hour and a half later. I've just been chilling in my truck waiting for the rain to die down. It's still raining, but I have come to the conclusion I don't think it's gonna stop, but it's good enough that we can be out here, so. We do in fact need a fish for the catch and cook. If we can get like a solid 13 inch brown or a rainbow. I would take a rainbow or a cutthroat, but I really would like a nice brown to cook up. Oh, there was one. Whew. There was one. That weren't no rock there, buddy. Yep, there we go. That was a fish. Oh, that's a good brown. That's a good one. That's another good one. I was right. That's a good fish. That's a really good brown. Holy cow. It's another big one, boys. It's another big one. Whoo. Look at that, dude. It's just as big as the last one. Holy freaking crap. Oh, it is on. Ooh. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's big, it's big, it's big. Whoa, it's big. Oh my gosh. He's barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked. Whoa, yes. Oh my goodness. Look at that, that's bigger than the last one. Or it's, it's just as big. Oh, he just came off. He just came off the hook. Okay, calm down, man. Calm down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Another, like, three-pounder. Probably 21, 22 inches. Pretty similar. But look at that little hook jaw. Gorgeous fish. Oh, man. That is a tank. Tank of a brown. There we go, guys. This is what we're looking for. Fall time brownies, just like that. Get out of there, buddy. <laughs> that fish did do quite the number on my net, though. 
Man, he was rolling like an alligator. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get this out. Dang it. Well, we just broke off on that Rapal on the very next cast. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna try this one out. Bright yellow, really stands out in this water. Hopefully it does. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, everybody say a prayer. One like equals one prayer. Please, I cannot lose another one. That was literally the very next cast. Oh, 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 oh. oh shoot. Mm, that makes me mad. Hey, everybody, you want to know a quick way to lose $15? There we go. Little guy. Little guy. Is it a keeper? Ooh, I think uh, this is going to be a little too small. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. I thought I was snagged. I think that's another good one. I thought I was snagged. That's a good fish. Let's see. Oh my gosh, he's making a big wake behind him. Just how big is it? I don't know. But that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my gosh! No! No, 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 no! I think that was bigger than the last two. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Like, that could have been one of the biggest trout of my life right there. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. That's not nearly as big. Holy cow. This is a baby. Oh my gosh. We'll just ski him in here. That's a little bit too small. There we go. Another one. Ooh, this one might be a keeper. Oh, yep. We got us a keeper, boys. Let's flip him up here. Yes! Woohoo! There we go. That is a good keeper. Perfect, perfect size. That's what we're looking for. Nice and fat. He's going to have some good meat on him. All right, so we'll just set our fish right there for now. He is dead. I just knocked him on the head. Okay, there you go. Stay there. Well, it's time to cook that fish. I've just pulled off in this little random dirt road area in this grove of trees. I don't think it's private. I didn't see any signs and it looks like there's some campfires and trash. So I imagine people come back here a lot. So hopefully we're not trespassing. But guys, check this out. Look at this. So I'm actually working on turning the back of this truck into the ultimate camping vehicle. I've put these two giant plywood boards and I've stapled some carpet to the top of them. And I've got these two by fours supporting them all the way back there. So we've got a bed on top with our sleeping pad and pillow and everything. And then below, I'm actually gonna work on building some sliding drawers that we can put our cooking stuff in and anything else we need. For now, we've just got this little wooden drawer and I've got some canned food, some ramen noodle, some hash browns in there, along with some cooking supplies. As for today's recipe, folks, we have some beer batter Louisiana stuff. We also have some pickles, some pickle chips. So in case you haven't guessed it, we're gonna be deep frying our trout fillets and we're gonna be deep frying pickles. I know that I'm not the first person to deep fry pickles and fish, but it sounded good, so I just thought I'd give it a try. To be totally honest, guys, I'd rather be fishing right now, but we do have this fresh trout that we need to cook and I am hungry, so. First thing we're gonna do is take our fillets beautiful fillets look at that okay that one is horrible this one is not too bad this is not a bad fillet and then we're gonna dice them up into like little little chicken nuggets little fish fish nuggets all right so we have our fish fillets in there now we're gonna take a bag and i've never had this before this is the beer batter 
Um, this was just, this was literally the only one they had left at the store. I, I wanted to get a Cajun flavor, a spicy flavor, but they did not have it. But hopefully this one's good. Ooh. Okay, this is actually good. Um, this is actually like a really, really fine, fine powder. And I think that's going to stick to the fish a lot better since we don't have egg or milk or any kind of, you know, wet thing to make the batter stick better. So, so that worked out perfectly. Now we're going to take our fish chunks, set them in there. And we'll just coat these bad boys. Make sure they all get coated. I didn't add any salt or pepper with this because this is the seasoned kind. I think it is. Yeah, this is seasoned, so. You know what, guys? We might as well just throw the pickles in there, too. I love pickles. I love pickles. Mmm. Mmm. Get the pickles nice and coated in there with the fish. Everyone's going to get to know each other in there. Just using some canola oil. Uh, I don't think that's the best oil to fry fish in, but it was just what was lying around the house, so I grabbed it. To get that oil heated up, and we'll drop our pickles and fish in. I am excited about this, let me tell you. Of all the days I cook with oil is the day it rains. Thankfully, we have this to kind of block out the rain from hitting in the frying pan, but we still could have uh, some trouble. I'm gonna move my sleeping bag back. Let's see how hot the oil is. We're just gonna take one little pickle and set them in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's perfect. In fact, you know what? We're gonna turn our heat down. I don't wanna, I don't wanna burn them. That is like the perfect temperature right there. So we're gonna leave it on a slow, slow heat and we're gonna, we're gonna start setting these dudes in. The batter stuck to them perfectly. No issues, they're all coated perfectly. The pickles won't take long at all, um, so we'll get those out first. The fish, we'll have to leave in there for a minute. I think those pickles are just about done. That guy's done for sure. Ooh, nice and crispy. This one's kind of funky. We'll flip these fish over too. You know, it actually doesn't look like a whole lot of the, I mean, when I put them in there, it looks like they were all thickly coated. But since it's such a fine grain powder, you don't get as much as you think you do. I mean, there's still a thin coating on these fish, but not as much as I'd like. While the other ones are cooking, I'm gonna try one of these pickles. Look at that. That looks perfect right there. Wow, that is really good. Man, let's try this fricked up one. Mmm. That beer batter is really good. Wow. I think there's a perfect amount of salt in there. I'm glad I didn't add anything else because that's just about perfect. Get these other ones out before they burn. I don't really, can you burn pickles? And these fish, I'd rather have them overcooked than undercooked. So we're gonna leave them in there for just another second. We're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our pickles and fish here. All right, I think these fish are done. So we'll get them off. All right, now for the main event, the trout. Look how beautiful those look. Oh, this one's falling apart. All right, let's try this. Cooked through all the way, that's good. That's really good, but I'm not getting a whole ton of flavor from that batter. I don't know if enough of it stuck to the fish. I mean, that was a very, very thin coating. I don't know if a whole lot stuck. We do have this chipotle roasted garlic seasoning that I've just had in the back of my truck. Um, let's just sprinkle a little bit of that on the fish. Just a little bit, because this stuff is very strong. All right. Yeah, that adds a kick for sure. Mm. Oh no! 
I just dropped a pickle. Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. Oh, uh, no. <sighs> We're gonna add a little dusting of that uh, roasted garlic. It's gonna be a spicy pickle. Ooh. There's nothing better than a hot meal like this after a long, chilly, rainy day. Mmm. After a good day of fishing, I do have to... Shoot! I'm bringing a plate next time, bro. It was a good day of fishing, I do have to say. Mmm. I might come back here tomorrow to try to catch some more of those giant browns. I mean, I caught two like three and a half pounders. And I guarantee that one that got off was bigger. Guaranteed. Mm. Hold on just a second, scratch that. It is the next day. I wanted to see if I can catch a few more big browns before I end this video to get a little redemption on that like four pounder I lost yesterday. Hooked up guys, hooked up. I don't even know how big it is, but there's lots of head shakes, so I don't know. Oh, that's a, that's a giant, that's a giant, that's what we're after. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Just like yesterday, just like the ones yesterday, holy cow. Yes, 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 this is why we came, man. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a four pounder, but that is a stud brown, man. <laughs> Oh, e oh, oh, yes, <laughs> holy cow, just came off the hook, look at this brown, oh my goodness, that is like another three pounder, unreal man, unreal, look at the shoulders on that girl, probably about a 21 incher, there she goes. Yay, we got bait. Just a little squirt. There we go. That's a good one. Hooked up on a good one. Oh my gosh, my GoPro's about to die. My GoPro is about to die. Ooh, it's at 1%. So if it shuts off, you guys know why. I'm gonna have to go get another battery. Oh my goodness. We're hooked up on a good fish. Just, oh my gosh! I mean, it's all, I'm numb to it at this point. Honestly, look at all these huge fish. I'm literally numb to it. Holy crap! Okay, I cannot let this guy get off. This is bigger than the last one for sure. Bigger than the last one for sure. All right guys, my GoPro died, but now I got another battery in it. Look how big this fish is. Look how big he is. Oh my gosh, look at this. I think this is the biggest fish from, from this river ever. This beats the two fish from yesterday easily. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this fish. Look at this fish, man. You know that it's a big fish when uh, this fin on the back, I don't know what this is called right here, adipose or whatever. I really should know, but you know it's a big fish when that, it's about to be about the size of your thumb. That's about the size of my thumb right there. <sighs> I'm literally like just speechless. This is like a four pound, 22 incher. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? Look at that head. Unbelievable, man, unbelievable. Oh, just look at him in the net. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that guy. He's ready to go. He is ready to go. Oh, he's ready. He says, I've had it, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, other way, other way. There he goes. 
until we meet again. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.